Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across any TSH int IP reset failed issue on your Windows computer. This could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now the first thing you want to do is type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again IP C O N F I G space forward slash F L U S H D N S. Hit enter on your keyboard should say successfully flush your DNS resolver cache. If not, you probably spelled it wrong. And the next command you want to run is going to be NETSH space WINSOCK W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset R-E-S-E-T. Again, as it appears on my screen, hit enter on your keyboard. We will have to restart our computer, so close out of any open programs and applications. And let's go ahead and restart our system here. Okay, so once your computer has restarted, now we want to go open up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor, or regedit. Go ahead and right click on it, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it, so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore. And in order to create the backup, just go ahead and lock on the File tab, select Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to All, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just left click on File, and then select Import. So pretty straightforward. Now that you've done that, I'm going to have a registry path in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it, and then go up to the top address bar of the registry editor, delete whatever's in there and then just paste it in and we're going to hit enter basically just acting as a little shortcut to get us to where we want to go and now that we are here you want to go locate the 26 folder so the number 26 here you want to go ahead and right click on that and then you want to go select permissions select the advanced button and then you want to select where it says underneath owner, select the change option. Type in the field here everyone, then select check names, select OK. Check mark where it says replace owner on subcontainers and objects. Once you've done that, go ahead and select OK. Select full control, so full control allow, and then select apply and OK. Once you've done that, you can close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.